Oh, what's gonna happen? There's so much more to this story, and I'm really surprised. After a few months, I'd gotten thoroughly settled in at my new school. Once again, I had attracted a crowd of friendly faces. For the most part, they asked me to see my homework for assistance in some extracurricular activities or help with their studies. As I, reliab as I reliably satisfied, okay, satisfied these requests, sorry, I'm confusing myself, the number of people who approached me steadily increased. Apparently, there's this super talented saint in class 1C. Such rumors spread across the school, and I became something of a minor celebrity. And in time, I began to encounter those who found that irksome. Among them, a girl named Hitomi Nakano from my class. Most labeled her as a delicate, deliquent, okay, whatever. And she kept herself largely aloof from the rest of the class. So it came as something of a surprise when one day she suddenly called out to me. <laughs> Huh. She seems like a bitch. It began with that trivial favor, no different from those I'd performed for countless others. But Hitomi Nakano repeated that request every time it was her turn to clean the classroom. Of course, I continued to readily accept. And one day, after this pattern had continued for some time... It seems like Sachi's her, like, present self right now, like, she's shaped into that already. Oh no, they're catching on. Yeah, I told you guys she was a bitch. えっと、いじめはいじめられる側に自覚があれば成立するって言われているけど、だとしたら私にその自覚はないからいじめじゃないんじゃないかな。それ本気で言ってんの？だって人の言うことを聞くのがいい子で聞かないのは悪い子でし
We stayed overnight to wipe down windows. How many fucking windows are there in the school? We're just doing the interior, right? For a brief moment, her eyes went wide, and in the next, she roared with laughter. <laughs> but she has her reasoning, and we understand that now. Man, what a bitch. What the fuck, dude? We're being abused. わかった。いや、パリね。じゃあ、これから私に対しては敬語を使うこと。それから私が何か命令をした時の返事は。Wait, doesn't... Isn't that what she says in the present? I don't like this school anymore. I didn't particularly hesitate at the prospect of becoming a slave. If that was what she wanted for me, and if it was within my power to play that role, I had no reason to object. And so, having assumed the position of Hitomi Nakano's obedient minion, carrying out her orders became the central element of my new daily routine. God damn, dude, there's so much more to the story. Like, what else needs to be told? I can't quite remember how many times we repeated this exchange. It happened too often for me to be sure. My more common, er, yeah, my more common duties involve completing her homework by proxy, helping her cheat on tests, and arranging cruel pranks against those she dis disliked. There were other requests as well. Every once in a while, she'd call for me in the middle of the night simply to mock me for actually showing up. After laughing with her friends, she would send me right back home. But that was all right with me. I was her slave, so I needed to concern myself with, with was, e what? Okay, whatever. Was executing her commands. No matter how difficult the order she gave me, through careful thought and diligent effort, I would always find a method of carrying them out. When I succeeded, her mood would often improve. On occasion, she would offer a few words of praise for her good girl. But more than anything else, simply obeying someone's instructions was pleasant in itself. While executing her orders, there was no need to think about anything else. The reason for those orders, the consequences of successfully carrying them out, anything and everything else was totally irrelevant. In those moments, and those moments alone, the burden of guilt I carried with me was lifted from my shoulders, and the image I wanted to erase from my mind, more than anything else, stayed safely buried away. Therefore, there was nothing wrong about this. A good girl does what she's told. I believed absolutely in those words. For me, they had a kind of faith. However, not everyone saw things the same way. After about two years as her slave, my master began to show some signs of discontentment with our arrangement. When I answered her orders with a prompt yes, certainly, and a nod, I could see a flash of irritation in her eyes. Perhaps as a result, I soon noticed that those orders had begun to escalate in scale and difficulty, and when I returned to report my success, she'd respond only with a displeased grunt. Eventually, I asked whether I'd done something to offend her. And that was her admittedly rather irrational answer. Naturally, I then inquired whether I should fail every so often, but... This inspired only a more pronounced scowl. Well, 
あんたに最後の命令を出してあげる。Oh, yeah, we can finally stop being her bitch. Cause she's a bitch. 最後の命令<笑>そう。2週間後にある中間テスト。あれ、なくしてよ。テスト人の言うことを聞くのがいい子だって言うなら。こういうお願いも聞いてくれるよね。どうなのやれるのはい、私はいい子ですから。言ったわね。I have an absolutely bad feeling. 一度やるって言ったんだから、絶対やんなさいよ。Absolutely bad feeling about this. 後で、やっぱりできませんでした。すみませんって謝ってきても。私は絶対に許さないからね。Oh, that last part there is probably not good. わかりました。From the moment I nodded my head, it was perhaps all but decided that I would end up in Mihama Academy. When she asked me if I was up for it, I heard a voice screaming, Don't! from some corner of my mind. But soon enough, as the image of the day began to flicker, its own warning before my eyes, that voice of caution was obliterated without a trace. Uh, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that scene. For the next few days, I frantically racked my brains in search of a method to get rid of the scheduled midterm tests. How about stealing the tests before they could copy them? No, even if I were able to find the originals, the tests would be recreated. At most, I would earn a brief delay. In that case, how about copying the tests secretly and bringing her the answers? No, while that might ensure her a perfect score on the exams, the tests themselves would be held as usual. I have an absolutely bad feeling here. The more ideas I ran through, the more I realized the enormous difficulty of the task at hand. My focus grew slowly more intense and obsessive. My thoughts ran in circles. To make matters worse, as the day of the test grew inexorably closer, I began to see the familiar nightmares I had thought behind me. And so, driven slowly but surely into desperation, I finally arrived at my conclusion. Oh my god. I knew it. Alright, in the anime, like, she was requested to get rid of tests, like, some tests that were coming up, like, end of the year tests or whatever. Uh, so, as a joke, she was like, Hey, Sachi, get rid of these tests. She was gonna blow up the school. I felt like it was coming to that. Oh my god. The moment I spoke those words, my ears filled with a high-pitched, almost nostalgic buzzing, and my consciousness was shrouded in fog. When I came to my senses, I was standing inside my school. At my feet were a pile of kerosene cans, the same sort my uncle stockpiled as fuel for our heaters. Presumably, I had carried them from my house to the school building over the course of numerous round trips. And indeed, my arms and shoulders were throbbing with agony. The situation was clear enough. Moving as though possessed, I emptied the cans all around the building in what felt like minutes, ignoring the protests of my exhausted body, and in the end, I stood in my classroom and set the fire. Oh my god. The instant I dropped my match into the kerosene, flames sprouted up as though I'd flipped the switch on a stovetop. The fire spread rapidly down the fuse of oil and into the hallway. In the blink of an eye, the fire spread and grew, feeding off the wooden walls and desks, consuming the paper textbooks and cloth bags my classmates had left behind. The flames danced before my eyes. Even from a distance, I felt their heat on my skin. Just as I observed that, it was becoming slightly painful to breathe the heated air. The shrill sound of the fire alarm began to resound throughout the building. The classroom I had studied in only yesterday was consumed in a literal sea of fire. And yet, even as a part of my world vanished before my eyes, I felt nothing in particular. Ah, look at it burn. The thoughts running through my mind were nothing but the disinterested impressions of a casual spectator. Having determined that it would be impossible to stay in this place any longer, I carefully exited the classroom, 
through the nearest window. As I lowered myself onto the grass outside, I could hear the sound of a distant siren. How far would the flames reach before the fire engine arrived? How much damage before they could extinguish the blaze? No, it no longer mattered. The midterm exams would doubtlessly be cancelled regardless. I carried out my orders. I did it what I was told. I was still a good girl. Yeah. Oh shit. That's it. That was it. That was Sachi's past. Wow. And I got a Discord message, so I guess it's time to end this session. Holy shit. That's how it ended. Like that. She was willing to do anything. So she did that. Wow. I'm, like, good girl, bad girl. Okay. I honestly feel as if, you know, I know it's a fictional character, but wow. I feel like things like that could happen to someone to the point where they have to completely change their lifestyle to an extreme extent really it's unfortunate that people have to go through pain like this even like the pain of losing loved ones and then the mental and emotional pain that is left behind so all right yeah I'm getting texted, told to uh, jump on that World of Warcraft with my buddies. So, thank you so much. I, I don't know if I was in the middle of something or not, but whatever. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This was a very emotional story. And it took us a little over two hours to do it. So, hopefully there's not too much else to this path. We'll have to see. I would say, if anything, maybe we're like halfway done. I really don't know. I feel like there's going to be a big situation that does come up, though, with Sachi's story, or Sachi's path, route, whatever, and uh, it's it's going to be big. I, I, I know it. So, we're not done yet. We still got a bit to go. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you stay tuned for the next session of The Fruit of Josiah.